Hey folks, it's Andrew from Money Mental UK here, the YouTube channel dedicated to money and mental health. Um, today I'm showing off my new packaging area that I've just created. It's a temporary packing station that I'm using uh, until my cow shed is sort of ready for use. Um, so those who have been following the cow shed updates, you'll probably see me relocate this at some point. Uh, but for the time being, I thought I'd show you what I've set up, the tools I use for packaging, uh, etc as it might be uh, sort of helpful to uh, people to see that. So I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you my setup, show you the sort of supplies I use, etc. as well. See you in a minute, folks. OK, folks, so it's a very simple setup. I mainly deal in small items, media, some clothing, um, so I don't need a huge, big setup. Um, obviously, if you're dealing with bigger and bulky, bulky items, you might want something slightly bigger. But this is perfect for me. This fits in a small corner of my living room, and it's got everything I need. So I'll start off with a table. This good solid table made by Draper. Um, it's designed as a sort of pasting table, but it's really solid, so it can take a lot of weight. Uh, it's great for storing my packing supplies on and using as a surface to pack and sell tape stuff on um, that cost me £10 from eBay but I will drop a link in the description of the video for um, similar sort of tables that you can buy on the internet that one is a, a second hand one they got local collection only um, it's quite good because underneath it there's space to store your uh, packaging supplies um, so I've got my eBay branded boxes here those are the smaller ones I use those are the bigger ones um, having it out there visually like that is really good because it can tell me straight away, quick check, what am I running low on. Um, so I can see already I'm running low on these ones here. So when my uh, packaging voucher comes through in the next couple of days from eBay, I'll be ordering a load more of those. Those ones are okay. Uh, might need to order some more soon, but I think I have got another box of them downstairs. Um, on the table itself, I've got basically the... Uh, packaging supplies that I use most often so these um, mailers here sort of jiffy bag although they're not really jiffy bags but these mailers I use um, to slit to ship bundles of DVDs in so I can put one there and one there basically two in it one poly mailer and it still goes as large letter um, so that's quite useful because I quite often bundle copies of, of games together uh, if I'm just selling an individual game, that goes in there. Um, again, standard bubble mailer. Uh, these I use for wrapping around plugs mainly and shipping small items. If you have Lego figures, etc., they can be quite useful. But yeah, I usually use this to wrap around a plug so that uh, it protects the plug in transit, the plug doesn't come loose and damage whatever it's attached to. And then, of course, I've got my poly bags as well, which I'm running slightly low on. I have got some more eBay branded ones downstairs that I'll be putting on there. Uh, next to it, I've got my bubble uh, wrap. Um, I use the, the, well, the one I use is in the description, you'll see that. But um, it is a, uh, yeah, essential tool. What I'm actually going to do here is get a little, a little sort of cupboard uh, that's big enough to contain that in. I'm just waiting for something to come up free on Facebook that fits that criteria. Um, and then I can store stuff that's awaiting packaging on top of that little cupboard as well. So a big pile of media, etc. or clothing ready to go through the packaging process. And then of course tools, decent pair of scissors, mine are Star Wars ones, but I'll, I'll recommend in the description some decent scissors. Uh, these are really good, they'll cut for anything. Now, these are made by Helix, so I'll try and see if I can find some similar branded ones. Um, they're much better than the cheaper ones that you get in, um, you know, B&M or Poundland or wherever. Uh, then your tape measure, uh, again a Draper tape measure. I, I use that for measuring parcels to make sure that they fit within the small parcel or the medium parcel sort of size. Really useful tool to have. Uh, kind of can save me money. Um, and I've got my packaging tape here. But I've just remembered I've forgotten to put my packing scales on. So I'll be back in a sec with the packing scales. See you in a minute. Okay, folks. So the final part of the packaging station is complete. Uh, the post-ship scales are in place. These are really good scales. They can take up to 40 kilograms of uh, weight. 
um, digital ones. You can get 25 kilogram ones as well, I think, um, from the same brand that um, are slightly um, uh, more specific in their, their weighing because they go down to a final level of detail. I wanted the 40 kg ones because I always think bigger is better. Um, and these go, you know, right across to, you know, we, we could show you this. This goes on there and we know that that weighs five grams. Uh, this one, I believe these weigh 15 grams. Oh, 10 grams, even less than I thought. Must be these ones that weigh 15 grams. Uh, it's also got a hold feature as well. So you can, if you if you block the screen with the item, which can happen, you know, you've got it like that, you can still put it on and it'll still weigh it. It'll hold that and then you press the zero button to go back. So I'll show you here. I'll put that on there. Screen's blocked. It gives a beep to say it's weighed it. I'll take it off. And those weigh 20 grams apparently. Um, so yeah, and then if I want to weigh something else, I just hit zero. I put this on. 635 grams for that. Zero. And I just turn it off when I finish with it. So yeah, other tool, of course, tape gun, essential. The only thing is, the only tip I've got is if you use the eBay free tape with these, it sticks everywhere. I still haven't got rid of it all from here. Um, so I, I personally use the eBay free tape that you can get, well it's not free, but the eBay packaging tape that you can order that's eBay branded. I find it works better with scissors than it does with a tape gun, it just tends to stick to everything because it's very sticky. Uh, the parcel tape I use, that's in the description as well. Uh, I get through this, uh, uh, you know, a rated knot, so I always order about 24 or 36 at a time. Um, and then we talk about the rest of the products. So yeah, that is my new packaging station. Um, as I say, at some point it's going to be moved into the cow shed. I'll get a little cupboard to go in there to hold the bubble wrap and to put stock on. But for the time being, this is where I'm going to work from. And it's so much more organised than what I had before, which was basically using the top of the cooker hob. Um, and spending ages hunting for packaging supplies, etc. I was always use, losing the tape gun, always losing the um, scissors now and the tape measure now they're all in one place they get used they get returned to here it works really well for me anyway folks thanks for watching see you all soon